You don't need to learn how to code. You don't need to learn how to program things. And in fact, you don't have to do anything at all because these things are just getting better and better. And the best part about it is that you don't have to pay anyone for a certain course because I know that there's a lot of people just selling you a course on all of these things, but just think about it. If this is a fresh thing, these AI agents, chatbots, whatever, how do you believe that there's already like so good experts in those fields of activity that they can just sell you a course? That they're so knowledgeable about the topic. They are just like, they have the authority to teach other people to do certain things. It's a fresh thing. Manus is new. It's a general AI agent. And yeah, just like it says here, leave it to Manus. First of all, I'm not affiliating with it. You can just find it over on Google just like this. It is over at manas.im. You can just Google for it like this. And of course, this is gonna be the homepage. The first thing that you should do is to watch this video, right? And just listen to the explanation that it gives. And a lot of things will become clear to you. This is gonna work in prompts, natural language prompts. I'm gonna show you some examples later on. And then it becomes just you and Manus. You gain experience with these prompts. And as I've told you, it's a new thing. You start at the same level as maybe half of the population now, even more than that, because it's a new thing, right? No one is an expert in it. So that gives us a lot of opportunity to compete with those people. I'll show you the gigs and all of that, but nothing of that should scare you. In fact, if you have any interest in creating agents, creating chatbots, just to make yourself a side hustle, whatever, it's not gonna be million dollars right away, of course, I'm not trying to tell you that, and something like that doesn't exist. But if you have any kind of interest, if you have some passion for these kind of things, this is opportunity for you, and it's a great one. Because just have a look at how this works. I'll just go on there until it does the thing. So this is a simple prompt. I need a seven day Japan, you know, just a travel plan to Japan. And you put a budget here. And of course you put your preferences such as what do you love? What would you like to see in Japan? And here you can see that you can see it in action, right? It has a to-do list and you can see the browser. So you can see this browser on a cloud and you can see it navigating the pages. It's just really, really good. And it's fun to watch, you know? You can just go and make yourself a coffee until it completes all that needs to be done. And at the end, you get a full report. So this is the overview. What are you gonna do on day one? What are you gonna do on day two, day three, day four? And you know, it's everything laid out to you. Just imagine how much time you would spend to do the research yourself. And that goes on to show us that a lot of people will wanna save money and save time just to get some of these things completed like this. And then if you wanna use it on a browser, you will need an invitation code. Invitation code is hard to get because there's a Discord group with like more than 7,000 members there and they're all waiting for an invitation code. So it's maybe impossible to get it right now. But what is possible is to get Manus locally on your computer, right? There's a lot of tutorials online. I'm not gonna show you how to do that in this video. But there's a lot of tutorials on how to get it from GitHub to your computer and then you have it locally and then you can run whatever you need and you can fix whatever needs to be fixed. Making AI agents is the best opportunity for you right now because it's a huge demand. As you can see, the prices are soaring. It's just huge, huge marketplace and with not a lot of competition. If you search for AI agents or even chatbots, there's not gonna be many results because there's not a lot of people who know how to do these things. But as I've told you, there's not a lot to know. You just have to practice with the prompts, with Manus, and you're at the same level as most of these people are. So it is gonna depend on you. It is gonna depend on your effort and time invested and just researching and just, you know, getting yourself friendly with the tool. Apart from Fiverr, apart from AI agents, apart from chatbots, which, you know, everybody needs a chatbot nowadays, and it's a breeze to make one with Manus. So apart from that, I would recommend to market yourself on Instagram where you can just showcase your work, and that way you're just gonna land yourself more clients. That is, of course, down the road. That is the strategy that, you know, there's a lot of traffic on Instagram, right? And a lot of people aren't there. So why we shouldn't use that to drive some traffic to your Fiverr gigs or to your website or whatever. You don't only have to use Fiverr, there's Upwork, there's many, many things, but this is good for start, right? It's a great place to start. Also, great place to start 
is within your local neighborhood. Because nowadays, everybody needs a chatbot, as I've told you. Everybody needs something automated. Everybody would like to have an AI agent doing things for them. And, you know, even your local flower shop, they just need a chatbot. They need something automated because, well, they will just get more customers and they don't have to pay someone to answer all of those questions that their consumers might have. So they would just rather pay to you to make the chatbot. And then what's beautiful about it is that you can always upsell because tomorrow they will add a new flower or whatever it might be. And then they will just call you again. Okay, I need your service once more. Can you add this flower to the chatbot as well? So you get the point. And not only that, I suggest just going over to the website and looking at these examples here. It can create websites. It can work with web design. Just have a look at this website. This was done with a prompt, right? Natural language prompt. And it's a good website, you know? It's really, you know, this would take hours. And the best part about this is that you can watch it in action. Just have a look at this. It's good for designers. It's good for making games. Have a look at this Super Mario. And I mean, it's just, I can play it right here from my browser. It's, it's, it's just too powerful. You can make simple tools for people like this one, which is in two stocks. And as I've told you, the most beautiful part is that you can see it in action, right? You don't have to watch it, of course, but it is fun to me to see the process that goes behind. It's just too, too good. Now here in this use case gallery, you have some of these categories. There is WTF section, which is showing us that it can work with editing podcasts. It'll soon be available for us to edit videos with it, but this podcast editing is, well, it's just too good. So please cut the podcast audio into a two minute highlight reel of key quotes. So for example, this one is audio file, which is 45 megabytes. So that's huge, huge WAV file. And it's just gonna extract everything and it's gonna give you the text. And you know, it's a huge time saver. There's a lot of people on Fiverr who are demanding to cut their podcasts as well. So there's a lot of opportunities, right? There's it's too good. And I know that a lot of people are saying, oh, AI is gonna take away our jobs. It's not, it's just gonna open up new jobs in my opinion, because someone still has to use AI. Someone has to operate, someone has to train the AI, someone has to teach themselves how it works and then to use it, right? It's just gonna speed up the process of these things. And it's good for us because you don't have to be knowledgeable about how to code how to cut podcasts, how to make games. You can get yourself knowledgeable in all of these categories just by using prompts and then just seeing what works and what not. So you don't have to go to college to just do one simple thing. You can do many, many things at once using this powerful tool. So in the end, it just depends on you, whether you wanna learn how to use this tool or you just wanna fall behind. And that's something I believe you don't wanna. But yeah, I still think that it gives a lot of freedom to freelancers and it gives a lot of opportunities to freelancers to expand, to do some more work, rather to stay in some kind of a niche which is narrow and that doesn't have a lot of clients. And as I've told you, this is a new thing. This is the future as well. And it's better for you to hop on to it. The sooner you just accept this and the sooner you start to learn how to do certain things with it, well, it's just gonna be better for you. It doesn't have to replace your nine to five job. Even if, I mean, these chatbots and AI agents, they're, the prices are huge. It can easily replace any nine to five job wherever you live on the planet. But even if it doesn't do that, it's a great side hustle for you. So yeah, go and explore. Nobody can teach you. Nobody is an expert in this as of now. You should and you can do it yourself if you have any interest in it. So yeah, wish you good luck. Go and do it, work on it, build your future yourself. And I'll catch you in the next video.